Trigger warning, this video contains needles, doctor's office, nurses, doctors, medical procedures, injections, and other things related to hormone replacement therapy. It is for educational purposes only, so those who are watching should be watching to learn about how to inject intramuscularly, subcutaneously, um, or what the process would look like for them if they were to pursue testosterone pellet injections through the canal in the fat layer of the glute or the thigh. Viewer discretion advised. Hey everybody, it's me. Welcome home, Jackalope Tribe. Today, we are going to be talking about one of the many different forms of testosterone hormone replacement therapy for trans guys, and I figured I would go ahead and make a series. So this is actually part of a series about some of the different forms of testosterone injections for trans guys who are medically transitioning um, through the process of hormone replacement therapy. Today we're going to be talking about intramuscular injections, and I actually had a nurse consent to filming this process um, so we could actually educate other trans guys on how it all goes down. So this first video is the, the first in a three-part series where we talk about the different types of injectable testosterone hormone replacement therapy options. And uh, this first one actually was filmed prior to me ever having started any injections at all. Um, so intramuscular injections are really easy to do. They're one of the most common forms of hormone replacement therapy, particularly for trans guys. This is like one of the most common and usually the go-to route that your doctor will have you take. A lot of people who have started intramuscular injections actually sort of end up the same way that I did. It's something that is discussed a lot in forums for trans guys and on Facebook groups where you start out doing your intramuscular injections and, you know, most people have needle anxiety. I actually don't have any needle anxiety. So I started out doing my injections and I, I had no anxiety about it. And a lot of people end up by a year of doing weekly or every other week injections end up actually having severe anxiety regarding injecting and it's it's incredibly common so if that does end up being the route that you end up taking as a person just know that there are other options and we'll discuss those later on in the series some places require you to go in every other week or every couple of weeks i know in the uk they don't really do weekly injections for intramuscular in the United States, it's incredibly common to have injections, intramuscular injections that you administer at home uh, on your own every week. So let's go ahead and dive right into that. And here's this video. Okay, yeah, so you guys gave me actually two different types. Mm -hmm. There was an 18 and a 25. Mm -hmm. So can we talk about the difference between those and what one should be used for what? Yes, so the 18 gauge needle, it's used to drop. You never use the same needle to drop that you would to inject because it's cross-contamination. We're gonna use the same vial, your same testosterone vial to go you know, multiple times. So it's a multi-use vial. If it was a single-use vial, then you know we would use it that one time and just do that single needle. Um, but because it is a multi-use vial, we have to use one draw needle, dispose of it, and then we do an injection needle. And then we inject in the body and then we dispose of it. That's okay. why we do two different ones. And so I'll show you. Okay, so usually what I always do, um, so your 18 gauge needle is to drop because it's a bit bigger gauge needle. And then the 23, I believe we gave you? 25. 25 8 gauge needle is to inject. What we do, so you would open that one and then you always clean it every single time because since it's multi use, you always have to clean it no matter what because it has to be sterile. Um, and then for your syringe, we're opening that as well. We're opening your 18 gauge needle. You're gonna make a trash pile over here and then you just connect it like that. Twist, yeah, okay. twist it. I'm telling you, you can't twist no more. So what you do is you make sure there's a little bit of air inside because when we go in, we have to put, while we're taking out the liquid, we have to put air in there as well. Otherwise it's a vacuum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then it's gonna be really hard to pull it out. Right. So the way I do it, I always go down like this and then I pull it backwards, pull the same liquid or the same air inside and then I go to whatever I'm gonna drop. For you, we're doing um, half of a milliliter. 
which would be right about there. At the and we're looking at this line mm -hmm. here, not that one down there. Yeah, because that's half, that's one, one and a half, two, two and a half. Okay. But we would be doing half for you. I always um, sometimes do a little bit more because of the air bubbles, we have to squeeze it out a little bit. So then I just pull it out like this and then we cap it. Interesting. Oh, and then you switch the needle. <clears throat> Yeah, so you switch the needle then to your draw needle. And then you flick it. Sometimes you could get a pen as well to take the bubbles out. And then pull it down so it'll be the bubbles out. And then you pull them up. And then all the bubbles out. And then a little bit of the liquid comes out. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So whenever I inject myself, what I do, I almost kind of hang my leg. And you see where the fat is. Okay. Because, the, I mean, where the muscle is, because the fat's going to hang down, right? Right. So lift your leg up a little bit, and you see how this is your fat? Right. So then what would happen, relax it now, what you're going to do to yourself, you're going to grab a piece of the muscle, and then you're going to inject it. Okay. Grab. Are you right or left-handed? Left-handed. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to explain it a little bit backwards. Okay. okay. You would grab with your non-dominant hand, and you inject with your dominant hand. Oh, like forks and knives. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, eh, is that... Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's the injection, the pressure, it's more so it doesn't hurt. Right. That, and we can grab your fat, and that's where we inject in. Okay, even though it's an intramuscular. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to try it? Yep, let's do it. So um, we're going to pretend first. Remember, you're going to grab a piece of the, the muscle, mm -hmm. and then you're going to um, do it like go straight down. Straight so down. like if you literally would be straight down. Okay. Um, and then what you would do, you would let go of the hand that's holding the muscle, and then you would... Um, how long, How do I go fast or slow? Does it matter? The faster it is, the less it hurts. Gotcha. So I, I would just, don't think about it and just go in. Because if you think about it and you hesitate, it's going to hurt a little bit and you're probably going to bleed a little bit. Right. So, um, so you would grab the muscle, inject it in, and then you let it go with the muscle. And then with your dominant or with your other hand, you pull back a little bit. So, um, to make sure there's no blood in there. Okay. Because if there's blood, you cannot inject in there. That would mean we're not in the muscle. Right. So you only pull back a tiny bit, okay. and then you inject in. Gotcha. And you inject with your thumb. Thumb. Mm -hmm. Everybody who does this, they do it. And then I'm going to stand on that side, so I'm making sure. I don't know. I feel like that's Perfect. probably, yeah. Yeah. And then you can put it on the truck as well. And then you just grab a piece of your. So you okay. um, grab first, then. Well, stab. you would un undo it first. Okay. So I'll do it for you. Just pull it right up. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Grab. Yep. Okay. Stick it straight down. Yep. How far in do I go? It, as much as you need. So you can go all the way in because it's not that thick. You can okay. go halfway in. Okay. Okay, now release with this one. Release. Uh huh. Now pull it back a tiny bit. Tiny bit more. Are you doing okay? Yep. It's just hard. There you go. You see how there was just air yep. that came out? That okay. means you're not in. A, you're not in the vein or anything. Okay. And you just inject a little bit by little. Okay. And make sure you're relaxing your arm as well. That is a, a little, little bit burning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me get you gods as well, okay? Cool, it's all the way in. I just pull it out. Pull it up, and then you just put the gods, and then once you think you're okay. Cool. That actually wasn't hitting <laughs> your face. Cool, okay. That actually was not bad at all. The pulling back kind of freaked me out a little bit, mm -hmm. not gonna lie. But the rest was good. Okay, so that was like a, what was that, like a saline solution? Yes, sort of that was saline. So, and also after injections, um, because, you know, fitness and working out and stuff, uh, is there like a recommended amount of time before doing, like exercising that muscle or should you exercise it right away? I would do it more on the dominant side. Like whenever we do it on the arms, I always ask the patient, which one's your dominant hand? Because you're going to move your dominant hand more than you would your non-dominant, right? Mm -hmm. The more you're moving it, the more the, the actual medication's flowing. So gotcha. it's easier and you're not going to get as sore. Okay. Good to know. But there is some medication, testosterone is one of them, that's really thick. I kind of compare it like honey, so mm -hmm. it's going to burn a little bit, where the sodium, it's a little bit more like water. Right. It's literally water, right? There we go. Oh, wait, put it on first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be funny. 
and then pull it off. Mm -hmm. And then you want to make sure you have a little bit of air in. Exactly. Ooh, too much air. <laughs> That's probably good right there. Yeah, right? perfect. And then you turn it upside down. Yeah. Oh, wait, you inject it first. Whatever works for you. I do it like that because it's easier to just flip it like that. And then upside down. Mm -hmm. And you push the air in. Yep. Yeah. And then you want to draw to the one and a half, or to the half the one. You see how you have a little bit of air in it? I yeah. would draw a little bit more just because you're going to get that air out. Gotcha. Probably like that much. There you go. And then... Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you can cap it again right here. So an easy way to cap it sometimes too, because we're not really supposed to cap um, used needles, I would kind of fish it. Fish it? Yes. Okay. So we'll do it like this. So if you'll... Um, your needles like this rather than touching it you kind of like swoop it like oh, that okay. and then gotcha mm -hmm. interesting so that you don't get things and stuff everywhere yeah oh uh, i don't know where the cap for this one um right yep, there it is okay and then take this guy well i want to get this guy out first i don't think we could recap this one okay but just make sure you clean it off every single time okay okay all right and then this just twists off mm -hmm. and i have a sharps disposal at home mm -hmm. Um, and twist that back on, right? And okay. then you flick it. Yep. And then any little hair out, you just push it back in. Uh, I feel like I'm seeing bubbles, but I can't really tell. Oh, uh, no. no. It's also no. like very, very tiny. So you just push it a little bit until it comes out on the top, okay? I don't want to waste it. Right. Testosterone is a little bit thicker. So even um, when you're injecting yourself, you might feel like, oh my God, this isn't coming out, but it's not that. It's because the needle is a little bit thinner and the right. medication is thicker. You already cleaned the area, right? Uh, I did, but should I do it again? No, because as long as you don't retouch it, then you're good. Because yeah. you're going to go up here and where you touch is right here. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, hang your leg, extend it, mm -hmm. grab, and then straight down. This is going to hurt. Take deep breath when you do it. Okay. And then test it. Perfect. And then just draw it. It's going to feel like it's not coming out, but trust me, it's coming out. It's just the way it is. It's so thick. It's very thick. Yes. Yeah. And you're about done. That's it? Yeah. And then I pull out. Yeah. Boom. Check it out. Am I a man now? Does it count? I oh, and then you, you stick this. You well, technically, since you put it in your body, you wouldn't really recap it. But since you're doing it at home, you can. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll just... Oh, yeah. You have okay. the whole thing. That's it. Ta-da. That was actually really easy. I was anticipating it to be like this complicated process. Starting a year in your life right now. Legit. How exciting. I'm glad I get to be a part of it. So I hope that that was educational and informative for you. If you like what you saw today and you want to see more, hit that button down below, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on social media. Really, I just want you to follow my cat on Instagram, and her handle is right here, as well as linked in the description. Um, I want to shout out a super huge thank you to my my doctor, Dr. Raj Singh, for allowing us to record this in his office. And I also want to thank his staff for their cooperation. It's really important to me and to the rest of them as well to get this information out there for a lot of people who don't know exactly how to do injections or who may be anxious about what to expect when they're about to start hormone replacement therapy. So thank you very much. Uh, what type of hormone replacement therapy are you on or would you prefer? Go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, I hope you're having a good day. I know that's kind of been like ridiculous this whole year. The world seems like it's about to start opening up again, which is really nice. All right, peace out. I know I'm not gonna like wake up tomorrow and suddenly have my voice drop, but like, <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> so you know, it worked really fast. Right? You're gonna wake up with a mustache. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, your facial hair, your facial hair, but my family's notoriously hairless, oh. so like, it's not, probably not gonna happen.
Well, thank you very much. Of course. Thank you for so allowing nice me to teach you. you. Yeah. So we'll put all this back in, okay? Yeah. Bye. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I should probably do that, huh? All right, if you like what you saw today and you want to see more, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Jackalope Tribe and earn your antlers, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. I'll see you guys later.